What's up YouTube, I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive blitz game, and this is actually from the semi-finals of a tournament. The people were playing actually knew who I was. Uh, this particular round was pretty close because, let's see, they took both domination games from us, but we won both S&Ds and the blitz. Uh, we actually won the S&Ds and blitz fairly convincingly. If I remember correctly, the dominations, um, one of them we had to actually replay because it was tied, but overall it was really close series, really close matches, so uh, congrats for putting up a good fight against us, but um, we actually still haven't played the finals from this tournament. The uh, tournament host actually fell asleep and we never played finals, so I don't know what's going on with that. Hopefully we'll get to play them, but if we don't, it's whatever, it's just a free tournament. Um, also, before I get into the topic, real quick, we have a new sponsor. It's No Scope Glasses. Their Twitter is at No Scope Glasses. Uh, the affiliate link that we now have, I'll put it in annotation, and it's in the description. And if you guys go there and purchase any of their products using our link, it will help us out a little bit by giving us a small com commission, and we'll use that money to help enter tournaments, design GFX, design jerseys, stuff like that. So. If you guys would do that, that'd be greatly appreciated. So, getting into the topic today, and it's basically everything on how to practice properly. And this is kind of weird. You think, oh, well, everybody knows how to practice. Well, there are a few things that some people don't get all the time. And there's, there's four main categories here. I'm going to go over the basics, and then specifically scrimming, and then GBs, and then tournaments. So the basics, the first thing is the proper mindset. So when you are trying to practice, you've got to go in with the mindset of that you're, you're trying to improve. It doesn't matter if you're losing right now. It's just trying to learn. It's a learning process. It's not necessarily a competing process. You're not going for the win every time. You've got to be willing to lose so that you can learn, and you just have to stay calm and focused. Next thing is time management. Um, a lot of times when people practice, including my team, we do this sometimes, you know, once we're all on, it'll take us like an hour, hour and a half to really get started sometimes to, you know, start finding scrims or GBs or anything. Because we get lazy and we get a little bit bored, we want to do other stuff, fun things, we don't want to sit down and practice, you got to... Use your time effectively. However much time you're able to play, you just got to get to the grind. Next thing is you got to be trying new things when you're practicing. This is not necessarily the time to just be doing the same thing over and over again. It does depend on the scenario, like I'll be talking about with the scrims, GBs, and tournaments, as to how much you should really be experimenting. But just know that when you're taking it as practice, you need to be trying new things. All right, so getting specifically into scrimming. This is the best place to practice and experiment. So uh, first, the first thing here is that you're going to want to look for a scrim that's in your time zone so that you will have the best connectivity. Uh, that's just kind of a given thing. Not everybody does that because, I mean, we used to not do it and we would get like West Coast scrims and we'd be like, okay, no, we're just looking for an East Coast scrim because we're mainly on the East Coast. So do stuff like that. Also, try and get a dedicated scrim and what I mean by this is try and get a scrim against a team that isn't gonna leave after one game you wanna try and go through all the maps and all the game modes and everything or at least most of them so try and get a dedicated scrim also look for teams that are of equal or greater level than you uh, I know you can't always gauge this but that's what your goal should be because when you're trying to practice, you don't want to be facing teams that are worse than you because then, you know, it's it's no practice for you. It's no challenge. You're not, you don't even have to think about it most of the time. Um, also, remember, this is the time to experiment, try new strategies, try crazy things. Um, you know, because, I mean, scrims don't really matter. Nobody's Nobody should be judging you off of it. I know some people do, but nobody should be. Um, also... Make sure you get in your worst maps in the scrims. This is something that we do, although there's still this one map that we always um, always try and skip over in scrims, and that's Octane Dom. We just hate that map so much, but you got to try and play your worst maps. Uh, it's just something that's very, very important in scrims. you got to get them down. Next thing is don't waste time. Have everybody looking for a scrim on your team because... 
Sometimes scrims take a while to find, and that wastes so much time. Just everybody go on Twitter, go on the MLG forums, and start looking for a scrim. And then as soon as you get one, invite them and get it, get it going. Don't waste 45 minutes looking for a scrim. Next, um, never get mad in a scrim. Like, it, this is not the time to be getting mad. There's no reason to get mad. It's a scrim. It doesn't matter. Now, if your teammate does something stupid or something, um, something that you think needs to correcting, do about it, go about it in the right way. You know, give them constructive criticism. Don't be tearing them down. You just gotta tell them what they're doing and be like, okay, this is what I think you should be doing. Can you try this next round or next side or next game, whatever it is. Also, never judge anyone based solely on a scrim like you know the other team don't be saying oh my gosh these kids are awful or whatever from a scrim because a lot of times people in scrims they're either not trying or they're trying new things and it may not work out all the time you know it's not the your place to be judging people based on scrims and i know this is somewhat impossible you, you know you're you always have those first impressions of people you're always going to judge them on some level but try and keep it in your mind not to judge people because it'll it'll boost your ego sometimes and it'll make you very egotistical if that makes sense so it's just try and stay humble I guess while you're scrimming alright so moving on to GB's so the first thing is pick your game mode I know basically you're gonna be choosing between MLG variant or S&D only so I mean because there's not a lot of you know domination only or blitz only or anything like that but um, you know, pick which pick whatever you need the most practice in. If you're really weak in S and D, go for that. If you're weaker in your respawns, go for that. And then the next thing is that you want to get higher level matches. I know some people get so so worried about their MLG ranks. I've done it sometimes, but it's not as important as getting experience against better teams because yeah you know what your your rank may take a dip for a while but you're gonna get better and it's gonna go back up and then you'll go even further so let's say you're at I don't know 30k right now and it's because you've been playing like really cruddy kids the entire time and now you're fa facing better people and you go down to 60k and you're like freaking out but then all of a sudden you notice you're getting better and you're starting to win more and more against these higher level teams and you go all the way back down and then you go even further and you get down to 15k. So I mean, it just it's it's really good practice just don't be worrying too much about it. Um, this is for GBs there's less experimentation, it's a little more serious. You got to try a little bit harder here. Uh, this is more of a time to keep calm um, and focus on correctly executing strats that you already have from playing scrims. Um, this is also the time to learn counters to your strats from opponents. To pay attention to how they're trying to counter you. Um, also, make sure you're getting best of three matches if you're on the team ladder. Uh, best of ones are okay, but they're just not quite as good. Um, it's, I don't know, just more time wasted, kind of less practice. And then getting into tournaments, this is the absolute best way to improve. Um, the problems with it though is that it's the most stressful and the most time consuming and there's a lot of time wasted as well in between rounds sometimes because you know if you're doing best of five tournaments you know you could 3-0 a team and then the, uh, the upper part of the bracket or whatever they are their game goes 3-2 and they had to replay a map as well or something and then you're there just waiting for an hour and a half but it's the best way to improve. I always see the most improvement after tournaments, so it's very, very good. This is the time to be focusing on strats. Um, it's the time to learn how to handle the stress, how to communicate under stress, and also reading your opponents, learning how they're going to uh, you know, counter you. This is the time to be practicing your judgment skills, basically, of, okay, I our opponents have been going... A this entire time you know just picking up on your opponent's strategies and everything this is the time for that so those are the basics of practice guys I hope that this helped somewhat so as you guys can see we're coming to the end of this video if you enjoyed it then please like comment and or subscribe if you didn't then let me know what I can do better next time constructive criticism goes a long way guys until next time everybody peace out